Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with my guest star. Mr. Potato Man. I'm the power I have the power to talk to potatoes. And I have a visible potato in my hand. It says, Do not eat me. Serrano Reyes J. This movie takes place before the events of The Conjuring. Really, it's just about this husband and wife. They move into a home with their baby, and the husband gives the wife a present. Guess what the present is? Annabelle, the freakiest, most creepiest doll you could have ever seen. Chaos ensues, and... Of course, they have to find out how to stop the curse with this Annabelle doll. When I went into this movie, I was honestly really excited because I really like The Conjuring. It's actually my favorite horror movie of 2013, just what director James Wan did with that film. You know, even though it's not the scariest film I've seen, it was a very creepy as hell film. But what makes it more creepy is the fact that it's based on a true story. And overall, what he did with The Conjuring was impressive to me. And the Annabelle doll was the scariest part of The Conjuring. So for that reason alone, I was excited to see Annabelle. Yeah, I was excited to see this movie because, you know, like, before, you know, this Conjuring and, you know, etc. Yeah. It continued from, like, oh, oh like, what if they would have showed in a different angle with these other couples? So for me, how was Annabelle? Did it live up to my hype? No, it did not. not. So much. I don't hate this movie, just to let you guys know. I don't hate Annabelle. I thought it was an okay movie. But with that being said, I was very disappointed with Annabelle, considering the fact how much I actually really liked The Conjuring. But before I do go into what I didn't like about Annabelle, let me give you what I did like about Annabelle. Now, uh, first of all, I will say that the acting was actually really good here. Now, I don't think the acting is on par with the acting in The Conjuring. I still thought the acting in The Conjuring was better, but I mean, for what the actors were given, I thought they did a good job bringing their characters to life. And the characters themselves, I cared about them, despite the fact that one of the characters makes some really dumb decisions. That character is the wife. I did care about her. And then anything involving Annabelle. The movie is called Annabelle. And just like The Conjuring, Annabelle is the scariest part about Annabelle. What a shocker. You know what else is a shocker? The actress is, is Annabelle Wallace. Are you sure it's not bananas? Nope, I'm pretty sure, my friend. They did a lot of close-up shots on her into the eyes or into her face, and every time they do close-up shots on her, I'm just all like getting the chills. There was one particular scene with Annabelle, not going to spoil what it is, but that one scene alone was the creepiest part of the entire movie, and it was that one scene alone that did really give me the chills, like, wow. So, yeah, any scenes with Annabelle did creep me out, and they pulled off those scenes well. The cinematography for this film also does look really good. I thought it was just very beautifully shot. And there were maybe, like, two or three more moments not involving Annabelle that I found creepy, mainly involving this elevator scene without going into details. I thought it was a very effective scene, a very creepy scene. It gave me goosebumps. So that scene right there was really good. And also, I did find the final six minutes to be very good. I know there are some reviewers that said they found the finale of the movie to be very disappointing. And I could see why, but to me, I thought the final six to eight minutes of the movie was actually very disturbing and how they pulled it off was very well done. They got the job done right. Not everything in the finale was great, but you know, compared to the rest of the movie, I actually found myself getting into it. And how it does tie up to The Conjuring was really nice. And the first scene, the first chaos scene with Annabelle for the couple 
basically the teaser trailer. If you guys have seen the teaser trailer, you know what I'm talking about. But that scene was very cool. And that's all I've got for positives for Annabelle. Uh, for me, my positives I like about it is the, the jump scares. To me, I consider funny. To me, like, like even I'll get jump scares on certain stuff, but for this one, I consider those jump scares hilarious to me. And it's just say you want that special someone or a special lady of yours to just to get jumped just for it. it this will be good for it. The storyline, it was well done. It wasn't the awful, like, you know, story of it, but it went pretty good how they made it and the way they put it from the beginning to the end. And for the actors, I think they did very well with the actors. Not the best, but very well. Like, even though I already knew what's going to happen next, but, you know, they made it more interesting onto the movie. Now, for my negatives with this movie, one thing I have to point out, yes, despite the fact I do care about the wife character, I really, really do. My God, does this woman, this makes some of the most dumbest decisions ever. I mean, what kind of mother is she? That's the question for this movie. Oh, my gosh. This character, she just does things. You know, has that cliche, don't open this, don't do this, don't do that. What does the character do? Boom. She does exactly what you would predict she would do. The husband, who I actually really liked more than the wife, actually had common sense. And he actually cared about the safety of the baby, while the wife, even though halfway through the movie, they would have been done with the whole Annabelle thing, the wife makes a decision so stupid, I'm just like, what the fuck? I would say maybe like 30 minutes into the movie, the husband gets rid of the Annabelle doll. He throws the Annabelle doll in the trash. They move to a new home. All of a sudden, the wife pulls the Annabelle doll out of the box, and then the husbands are like, whoa, honey, um, like, you want me to get rid of that? I could have sworn I got rid of that. And then you know what the wife says? She's all like, no, I'm going to keep her. And then the husband's like, are you sure? Yeah, I just want to face my fears. Are you kidding me? You know the danger this doll possesses woman. You know what this doll possesses, yet you still keep her causing more danger for not only just yourself, your husband, but mainly for your own baby. I It just... It just got me a little frustrated sometimes. Most of the jump scares pretty much to me are cheap, lazy, and very random. Like just how they execute the jump scares felt so sloppy. It felt so all over the place. It just felt so stupid. Like you wouldn't believe some of the moments. It's all like, am I supposed to be scared at this moment? Or actually be laughing at this moment? It was, it was like the hell? Not only that, but how the jump scares were executed felt very out of place to me. So, like, the audience at the screen me and Serenari as Jay went to, they were scared, and it was definitely entertaining to hear the audience's responses, hearing people scream to them. While they're doing that, though, I'm just sitting there during the jump scares going, Ugh. so this is what this movie is. And then the storyline itself. It's so bland. It's not interesting. And the movie feels very repetitive. It's all like, okay, here's a jump scare. More talking. Here's another creepy moment. And then move on quickly. You know, I feel like the movie does that same, same thing until it reaches to the finale. The director had some interesting shots, but it's, it's because of the script not being very interesting that the direction in this movie... It did feel a little all over the place, in my opinion. For my negatives, I think they should have made the mom a little bit more smarter. Agreed. You know, making her, like, you know, they should have made her think of, like, like a, to give her the mother's sense of protecting her child and making her more aware of her child first protection. Yeah. And like you, like you said, they sh like the father was 
like pretty much the smarter one. I think they should did it a little bit more to scare me because yeah. I'm a huge horror. Like, yeah, I would jump here and there, but it wasn't really one of those scary parts because, you know, I already knew what's going to happen. Yeah, I was pretty much laughing. It was like a, a comedy to me. Overall, I thought Annabelle was okay. Yes, with my negatives, it kind of sounded like I was bashing this film, but... You know, believe it or not, I don't hate Annabelle. Not as much as a lot of people, because I know a lot of people hate this film, but there's a lot that do enjoy this film. So this film is kind of like, you know, pretty mixed in terms of, like, the overall general audience. But I thought it was okay. You know, there were good things to it, but there were a lot of problems I had with it. So I don't hate the film. It's just straight up so-and-so to me. So Annabelle, I'm going to give it an okay Two out of four stars. I was really disappointed with the film. I wish it would have been better, but, you know, um, it was fine. I would give it a three and a half out of five. So, Saran Reyes J, thank you so much for viewing. And, you guys, remember, Annabelle is watching you, so be careful. Everywhere you go, she's there. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget, the owl always have Tiger Power!